everybody wants a perfect golf swing, but how do we do it? Well, I'm going to show you how a line in a circle, yeah, things we learned in kindergarten can actually help you improve your golf swing. I'm PJ Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And I've got a line, and I've got a circle on the screen, and it's going to help you make a perfect golf swing. So here we go. Let's dive right into it. Now, anytime I'm watching a student hit golf balls, the first place that I always stand is what we call down the line. And that's where I've got the live view set up here, right? I've got the live view set up down the line. And the first thing you've got right here is we've got a shaft. I've got the club shaft right here. Notice the red line goes along that club shaft. All right, and that's the first line we're gonna talk about when we're working on making the perfect golf swing. Now the reason I put that there is for a couple things. One is we're gonna talk about the takeaway here, but also notice the angle. This is tip number one I wanna give you. The angle of this club shaft, and I've got my six iron, I should have told you that a little bit earlier, but I got so excited about the tip, I got going here. I got a six iron. Now I like the shaft angle I wouldn't say it's at a 45 degree angle, it's maybe a little bit higher, but it's definitely, notice how that line almost like is pointing at my belt buckle. It's one of the things I love about Live View when I'm working with my students, is that literally they can sit right here and they can see, all right, in my mobile device right here, they can see what they're doing. So get that club pointed at your belt buckle. That's the first thing. A lot of you, a lot of you, all right, I guarantee you are set like this. The shaft angle is too high. That is killer number one. You cannot do that and make a perfect golf swing, in my opinion. So, get that shaft, so it's right there, pointing at your belt buckle, all right? That's tip number one. Now, the next thing we're gonna work on is the takeaway, because what I have found in 26 years of coaching golf is, is that when I get my students' takeaway correct, the rest of the stuff just kind of falls into place for the most part. Very, very seldom do I see somebody make a really nice takeaway and then just hit bad golf shots. You could give 90% of my lessons, all right, and probably steal my income if all you taught was the first third of the golf swing. So that's tip number one to get the shaft angle right there. Now, let's get going here. So when you swing this back, all right, notice how the hands work a little bit underneath that red line. That's the next thing I want you to focus on when you're trying to make the perfect golf swing. See where that goes? Okay, a lot of you will do this. The hands go up and over. That's not good. But you want your hands to work just underneath that line right there. See, that's the perfect takeaway right there. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and hit one here. So I'm set in there. I got that shaft angle right there. I'm watching my live view so I can make sure it's good. I'm going to do a little rehearsal. I like that waggle. There it is. Okay, not bad, a little thin, I'm not gonna lie. You probably heard it, it's a little early in the morning as Nick and I are getting rolling here shooting video. But, all right, now, the next thing I want you to focus on in the takeaway, okay, and this seems like a lot, but we're gonna tie it all together here with a little rehearsal at the end, so we're gonna keep it simple. You know me, simple is always better versus complicated. The next one has to do with the circle. All right, so what is this circle doing there? Well, the circle, look at that, ooh. That's for the club head. So my hands work a little bit underneath the line, but the club head works into the circle. That's what I love about Live View. I'll have a student come in here, and you know me if you've watched any of my videos, and hey, if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. Tell somebody about US Golf TV and our website, usgolftv.com. We've got all kinds of different content over there. Ring the bell, tell somebody about us, and also be sure to leave a comment or ask questions because I answer all of them. So. When you're in here, there it is, see? There's the club head. You know that I love to do three setters. There's two, there's three, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit one. All right, that was definitely more solid. We're getting warmed up. All right, here we go. So those are a couple tips that we've given you so far. Now, what I want you to watch for is most of you, especially if you slice the golf ball. Okay, if you slice, pay attention. Your club head all right, goes in here. See that? Club face is wide open, hands are high above the line, Where, where's the club head? Not in the circle, is it? Okay, this is slice move number one. There's slice 101 right there. Boom. We want to be right here. There it is, right there. Okay, good. Now let me go ahead and hit one. I'm going to give you a, a, a simple tip to tie all this together. Here we go. You know me, I like my three setters. Whoop, a little off. There we go. There's one. That's the beauty about live view. See, I went back to a bad move. There's two, there's three, here we go, all right, we're gonna hit it. Good, now I'm getting warmed up, those are getting solid. All right, now how do we tie all this together? Because if you follow any of our stuff here, 
You know, I really pride myself on keeping the golf swing simple, all right? I don't like all this complicated stuff in instruction right now. I just think it's really bad for people. So how do we tie that together? Well, here's how we're going to do it. We're going to create a little pre-shot routine, a little waggle, okay? Now, you know what I like in the setup, right? If you've, I've said a couple of times, if you watch any of my videos, how do we like our pressure on our feet to be? We like the 60-40, right? Because it helps with rhythm, the unweighting, the rhythm in the tempo. Right? These are concepts that we teach in all of our programming. Vertical line swing, all these different ones, we teach all these, right? So, I'm going to start with a little bit of weight on my lead foot. Maybe 55, 60%, 40, 45%. And early, I'm just going to move it a little bit to the, to the right. See that? Okay, now as I do that, I'm going to take the butt end of the club right here. Okay, this is great for chipping. Okay, this is great for chipping too. I'm going to take the butt end of the club and move the butt end. So I'm not moving, watch this. I'm not, this is where live you can come in. I'm not moving the club head. See where the handle went? The handle went towards the target. Where'd the club head go? Back and around. Okay, this is what a lot of golfers do, especially those who slice it, all right? What you want to do is you want to move the handle. See how the handle moved away from the target? And when I do that, watch. There's my line, there's my circle, back to kindergarten. Boom, there it is, pretty darn close. So I do that, and I add a little bit of that pressure movement, and that's your waggle. Let's do a three-setter, here we go. 60-40, move the handle. Boom, there's one, oh, it's perfect. There's two, perfect again. One more, there's three. Oh God, here we go. Nice, all right, so you wanna perfect your golf swing? Perfect your takeaway, a line in a circle, something you learned in kindergarten can help you move the handle, move the pressure. If you do those couple concepts, you too might have a perfect golf swing.